So, ladies and gentlemen, a Kaja Gale, a straight away give you Mr. John Connors. Give him, give him a welcome. Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, I'd just like to say before I get started that there was a couple of speakers that were going to speak here today. Two young women who were sexual abuse survivors. Now, unfortunately, the women were stopped from speaking here today. But I'd like to say that the bravery they demonstrated, even willing to show up here today and talk about their experiences, has inspired me to no end and ensured I would never back out. Never! Oh. I'm an independent speaker here today. I'm speaking for myself. I'm a proud traveller, man, and I'm glad to see there's many travellers in the crowd supporting this. I'm a proud Kulak man, and I'm glad to see there's many Kulak lads and girls in the crowd supporting this. And I'm a proud Irish man, and I'm glad to see all my Irish people in the crowd supporting this. You know what? I have to say I am absolutely delighted that the fascist group known as Antifa showed up here today. I'm delighted because they have delegitimized every cause they ever fought for. Yeah. Let's not forget one of the founders of Antifa Ireland is a pedophile himself, yeah. Patrick Corcoran. What's his name? Patrick Corcoran. Found with child pornography. This is what you're fighting for. Your leftists, this is what you're fighting for, liberals. You're liberal? Are you serious? Oh my God, you make me fucking laugh. You're hilarious. Try to stop me, you have no idea. In the last 10 days, the amount of people have gotten on to me, the amount of accusations, labels, defamation, assassination of my character, my career is over, apparently I'm canceled again. I was canceled a few years ago for defending the unborn, you know, the most innocent life on planet Earth. And I came back from that. And that's because I am independent and I depend on nobody else for my own living. You make me laugh. All these accusations, it's gas because these are the people who preach acceptance and tolerance and equality and peace and love. And these are the people who are calling me knacker and pikey on Twitter. Telling me, telling me, John, if you just back down, we'll back off. If I back down, I will never back down, because this is a hill I will have to die on. If you cannot defend children, you're not worth living, in my opinion. What is wrong with you people? Now, let me talk about Peter Tatchell. Peter Tatchell talked about the normalization and joyous, beneficial relationship a nine-year-old can have with a sexual relationship with an adult. Okay? Peter Tatchell has been advocating the lower the age of consent for decades. Down to 14 years of age. That's Peter Tatchell. Peter Tatchell has been associated to pedophiles and even wrote an obituary for one of them mourning their debt. That's Peter Tatchell. So, when you dare to question the new Minister for Children about his relationship, in which he's very proud of, all of a sudden, we're fascists. We're far right, we're racists, we're homophobes. I don't give a shit what the man's sexuality is. If he was straight, I'd be saying the same thing. If anything, you're homophobic for not questioning it. So, we're in a situation now where if you defend all your children, you're a fascist. It's controversial. That's where we're at right now. now I said, to the, I said to Roderick Gorman, take back your statement, disavow your connection, and uh, we'll accept that, okay? But what happened? Five or six days of pressure from the Irish people, from all of you, finally made him disavow, disavow his connection. And what did he say? He probably wouldn't have taken the picture. Probably. Well, I know I'd never take a picture with a fucking paedophile apologist. But not only that. Not only that, then other tweets started with servicing, other some very questionable tweets, and we know that he's had a past relationship. So then you say, what's his agenda? So his agenda is the first thing that he tackles when, when he becomes Minister for Children, the most important thing, he says, 
is for underage children to have access to undergo sexual trans transitional therapy operations. That's the first thing. Not, not end child poverty in Ireland. Not end child homelessness in Ireland. He didn't say, I'm going to make sure that children are not going to be living in hostels, they're not going to be living in hotels, in parks or tents. No, they have easier access to an operational, an operation that is very serious and irreversible. And that's why Roderick Garman is not fit to be Minister for Children. Now take that up your pipe and smoke it. Now, good man, he saw the water, he saw the dry mouth. A good old patriot. <laughs> um, back to Peter Tatum. Now, we have to ask questions. When I came in here, I met actually two sexual survivors, two, uh, two uh, sexual survivors in it that went through the industrial school system. And we have to ask, why were those things allowed to happen in the Catholic Church? We have to ask it because people didn't ask questions and people stayed silent. That's what happened. So we're now asking the same questions that they're all asking about the Catholic Church. But when it suits their agenda, they don't want to fucking know. We have to ask why Peter Tatchell wrote for the Irish Independent about lowering the age of consent in Ireland. We have to ask that. We have to ask why Peter Tatchell, Tatchell in February gone spoke in the Free Dairy Museum up in Derry, a place I love. Why was he speaking there? We have to ask that question. Why did Peter Tatchell get a James Joyce Award from the University of College of Dublin? Are we insane for asking this? These people are becoming a part of our establishment. Make no mistake, this is the establishment against everybody else. Because the ordinary Irish people got in touch with me over online and it's been overwhelming. I'm talking about people from every background, young and old, gay and straight, left, right and centre, told me they support this cause. Now let's get clear what the, what, the, what the agenda is. There's an organization called Educate and Celebrate. Now they advised Irish teachers as to how to exclude Irish parents from their own children's sexual education. And let me give you a little humdinger. Let me give you a little humdinger. Peter Tatchell is the patron of that organization. Oh yeah, just Google that shit. One Google away and you'll get that shit. That's how we're inviting into the Irish establishment. So what I'm saying here to the people of Ireland is never stop fucking questioning, never stop defending our children, and never stay silent. Not my minister. Not my minister. Not my minister. Not my minister. Thank you all very much. God bless Ireland.